Hey there travel junkies, it's your girl the traveling toucan and I've got a bombshell for you you're probably planning your Sydney trip at the totally wrong time. Yep, you heard me right. In this video, we're going to dive into the best and worst times to visit this stunning Aussie city. I'll be breaking down what you can expect in each season the good, the bad, and the ugly so you can time your trip perfectly. Trust me, you don't want to miss these insider tips that most tourists never hear about. Grab a pen and paper, because by the end of this video, you'll be an expert on when to book those Sydney flights. Let's get into it. Sydney is a captivating city that offers something special for visitors no matter what time of year you choose to go. While it's an incredible destination year-round, some seasons may be better suited than others depending on the specific experiences you're looking for during your trip. If you're looking to visit Sydney when the weather is pleasant and the crowds are manageable, the best times to plan your trip are during the shoulder seasons of spring, September to November, or autumn, March to May. During these months, you can expect mild temperatures that typically range from the high teens to the mid-20s Celsius, or the 60s to 70s Fahrenheit. This comfortable weather makes it ideal for exploring Sydney's iconic outdoor attractions without breaking too much of a sweat. Spring is an especially lovely time in the city, as it tends to be the driest season of the year. You can take advantage of the sunny days by visiting famous landmarks like the Sydney Harbour Bridge, where you can soak in stunning views of the Opera House and sparkling blue waters below. Or head to Bondi Beach to relax on the sand, take a refreshing dip in the ocean, and maybe even try your hand at surfing. For a dose of nature and adventure, spring is also a fantastic time to take a day trip to the Blue Mountains. With its rugged cliffs, lush forests, and cascading waterfalls, this wilderness area offers plenty of scenic hiking trails to suit all fitness levels. One thing to note is that while spring and autumn are generally less busy than the peak summer season, prices for accommodations and flights do start to climb in November as high season approaches. So if you're looking to save a bit of money, consider visiting earlier in spring or later in autumn. But overall, these shoulder seasons offer a wonderful balance of good weather, smaller crowds, and plenty of exciting activities to enjoy in beautiful Sydney. Autumn, which runs from March to May in Sydney, is a fantastic time to visit the city. The weather during this season is very pleasant, with temperatures similar to spring but slightly more rainfall. In March and April, you can expect comfortable daytime temperatures in the mid-20s Celsius, mid-70s Fahrenheit, perfect for exploring the city's outdoor attractions and beautiful beaches. The ocean water remains warm from the summer months, making it an ideal time to swim, surf, or simply relax on the sand without the intense crowds that descend upon Sydney's beaches during the peak summer season. As autumn progresses, the city comes alive with various events and festivals. One of the most notable is Vivid Sydney, a captivating festival of light, music, and ideas that usually takes place in May. During this time, Sydney's iconic landmarks, such as the Sydney Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge, are transformed by stunning light installations and projections. The festival also features live music performances, creative workshops, and thought-provoking talks, attracting visitors from all over the world. In addition to Vivid Sydney, there are plenty of other activities to enjoy during autumn. You can take a leisurely stroll through the Royal Botanic Garden, where you'll find an array of colorful autumn foliage. The cooler temperatures also make it an excellent time for outdoor activities like hiking in the nearby Blue Mountains or taking a day trip to the Hunter Valley for wine tasting. Autumn is also a great time to explore Sydney's vibrant food scene, with various food and wine festivals taking place throughout the season. The Sydney Royal Easter Show, held in April, is another popular event that celebrates the best of Australian agriculture and entertainment. Overall, with its mild weather, smaller crowds, and diverse range of events and activities, autumn is a wonderful time to experience the best of Sydney. Whether you're interested in outdoor adventures, cultural experiences, or simply soaking up the city's laid-back atmosphere, Sydney in autumn has something for everyone. Summer in Sydney, which runs from December to February, is when the city truly comes alive. With its perfect beach weather and a jam-packed events calendar, it's no wonder this is the most popular time for travelers to visit. The city's famous beaches like Bondi, Manly, and Fuji are at their bustling best, with locals and tourists alike soaking up the sun and surf. Water temperatures are ideal for swimming, ranging from 21.9 degrees Celsius to 23.7 degrees Celsius, 71 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. However, be prepared for average daytime highs around 27 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, with some days potentially reaching over 35 degrees Celsius, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The warm evenings are perfect for outdoor dining, rooftop bars, and open-air cinemas, which pop up all over the city. 
Summer also brings major events like the Sydney Festival in January, featuring hundreds of performances across the arts, and the spectacular New Year's Eve fireworks display over Sydney Harbour. The city's botanical gardens and parks are in full bloom, offering shady retreats from the heat. While summer is undoubtedly a magical time in Sydney, it's important to note that it's also the busiest and most expensive season. Accommodation prices soar, and popular attractions can get crowded. If you're planning a summer visit, it's crucial to book your accommodations and any must-do activities well in advance. Don't forget to pack plenty of sunscreen, a hat, and sunglasses, as the Australian sun can be intense. Despite the crowds and higher prices, many visitors find that Sydney's summer charm, with its long, sunny days and vibrant atmosphere, is well worth it. Winter in Sydney, spanning from June to August, offers a unique and often overlooked experience for visitors. While it's considered the low season, this time of year has its own charm and advantages. Temperatures typically hover around 17 degrees Celsius, 63 degrees Fahrenheit, during the day, with cooler evenings that rarely dip below 9 degrees Celsius, 48 degrees Fahrenheit. While you'll need to pack some warm layers, especially for nighttime, the weather is generally mild compared to many other winter destinations. One of the biggest perks of visiting Sydney in winter is the reduced cost. You'll find significantly cheaper airfares and accommodation rates, making it an excellent time for budget-conscious travelers. The city is also less crowded, allowing you to explore popular attractions without the usual summer throngs. Winter in Sydney isn't just about staying indoors. It's the prime season for whale watching, with thousands of humpback whales migrating along the coast. The peak time for this spectacular natural show is late June to early July. You can spot these majestic creatures from coastal vantage points or join a whale-watching cruise for a closer encounter. The season is also packed with vibrant events and festivals. Vivid Sydney, a festival of light, music, and ideas, transforms the city into a colorful wonderland in late May to mid-June. The Bondi Winter Festival in July brings an ice skating rink and Ferris wheel to the famous beach, while the Cherry Blossom Festival in August offers a taste of Japanese culture. These events, along with numerous art exhibitions, film festivals, and food fairs, ensure there's always something exciting happening in Sydney, even in the cooler months. While you might miss out on beach weather, winter in Sydney opens up opportunities for cozy experiences, like enjoying a hot chocolate by a fireplace in a historic pub, exploring museums and galleries, or taking crisp walks in the Royal Botanic Garden. It's a time when you can experience a different side of this vibrant city, making your visit unique and memorable. No matter when you decide to visit, Sydney is a bucket list destination that won't disappoint. I recommend allowing at least 3-5 days to experience the highlights. With a bit of research and planning around the seasonal pros and cons, you're bound to have an unforgettable time in this gem of a city. Alright my savvy travelers, we've covered a lot today. You now know the absolute best times to visit Sydney to maximize your fun in the sun while dodging the crowds and sky-high prices. Spring and fall are the sweet spots, summer is perfect if you don't mind the heat, and winter is great for whale watching and scoring deals. No matter when you decide to go, Sydney is guaranteed to blow your mind. Just remember our insider tips and you'll be all set for the trip of a lifetime. If you found this video helpful, show the traveling toucan some love and smash that like button below. And if you want more juicy travel secrets and destination guides, Block on over to that subscribe button and join the Toucan Troop I post new videos every week and trust me, you won't want to miss out. Until next time, this is the Traveling Toucan wishing you happy travels. See ya soon.